This is a video with, uh, I call it, normal and tangent line problems, homework help for an upcoming homework assignment. Okay. Calculus. And what we have here is this questions 1 through 3, evaluate, find the equation line that A, tangent, and B, normal to the graph of F that is passing through the given value. In this case, we have a function f of x equals negative 2x to the 3 half power plus x passing through x equals 4. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do first of all, in order to find a tangent and or normal line, we need to find two things. We need a point and we need a slope. And the point is going to be a... Uh, X coordinate of 4 and the Y coordinate, well, we're going to have to plug in 4, so we'll put this function here F of 4 is equal to negative 2 to the 2 times 4 to the 3 halves power plus 4 plus X. So, let's go ahead and figure this out. Now, 4 to the 3 halves power is going to be the square root of 4. That's the 1 half power. And we're going to cube this square root of 4 plus 4. And the square root of 4 is so we have 2 cubed plus 4. Well, 2 cubed is 8. So we're going to make it 2 times 8 plus 4. And so that's going to be maybe 16 plus 4, which equals maybe 12. So our point is 4 comma negative 12. Next we need to find the for both of these situations for tangent and for normal the slope respectively of the tangent and the normal line. And to do this we're going to find f prime of x and we're going to use the power rule of differentiation with three halves is multiplied by negative 2 and x to the 3 halves minus 1 is going to be x to the 1 half power and plus x well x differentiated is 1. So uh, simplifying we're going to have 2 over 2 cancel each other but we still have the negative sign so we have negative 3 and that's going to be x to the one half power, which is square root of x plus one. That looks like I've written it right. Like, so minus one half power should be x to the one half power. Okay. Another here. That's okay. Now. Of x and f prime of 4 is going to be negative 3 times the square root of 4 plus 1, and that's going to be square root of 4 is, is 2, so negative 3 times 2 plus 1, and that's going to be negative 6 plus 1, which equals negative 5. And that's going to be f prime of 4, which is our the slope of our tangent line. So we'll call that m sub t, the slope of tangent line. And to find the equation of the line, the, the a tangent line, we're going to use a point slope form. That's going to be y minus y1 
So minus negative 12, we'll say plus 12, is equal to m sub t times x minus 4. x minus x sub 1. So this will be our, this will be the equation of the line tangent. Now, for the line normal, we got to take this m sub t and convert this to m sub n, which is going to be the slope of the normal line, and that's going to be the negative reciprocal of negative 5, so that slope m sub n is 1 fifth. And now using the point we've had earlier and the slope, we're going to have y plus 12. So it's going to be the same thing except for the slope. Instead of negative 5, in the slope we have 1 fifth x minus x sub 1, which is going to be x minus 4. So this on the right is going to be our answer to part B, the slope of normal line. So that's the answer to part B, and this is the answer to part A over here. So tangent line on the left, normal line on the right. Next, problem 4. Show that y equals 3x minus 2 is a tangent line to y equals x cubed. Let's go ahead and figure out what the tangent line is, the slope of the tangent line. First of all, let's try to find the slope y equals 3x minus 2. Well, to be a slope, we're going to have to have m sub t is going to have to be the slope of this line. So uh, we're going to have the tangent line equal to the derivative, which will be y prime equals 3. And let's see here. That would be a tangent line. Let's go find the place where the slope equals 3. So we have y prime equals 3x squared. And we're going to set, since y prime equals 3, we will say 3 equals 3x squared. So dividing both sides by 3, we have 1 equals x squared. And therefore, x is going to be equal to plus or minus 1. Now, uh, let's go ahead and try this this 1. If we plug 1 into this original function, we have y sub 1 is equal to 1 cubed, which is going to be equal to 1. So we're looking at the point as a point. We're looking at the point 1, comma 1, and we haven't even tried the negative point yet. We're just going to stay with the positive point. And we know that m sub t is going to equal 3 because that's going to be a tangent line. So m sub t is equal to 3. So let's go ahead and use the point and slope. So we have y minus y sub 1 which is going to be 1 equals 3 times x minus x sub 1. And simplifying, we have uh, y minus 1 equals 3x distributing, and 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. And now we'll solve for y by adding 1 to both sides of this equation. 
So we have y equals 3x minus 2. Well, isn't that a nice thing to know? That we kind of worked out and we've shown and demonstrated that y equals 3x minus 2 is, in fact, a tangent line to y equals x cubed. So let's go on to problem number 6. At what point or points on the graph of y equals 1 over x is the tangent line perpendicular to 4x minus y equals 3? I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. Uh, we're looking for the tangent line perpendicular to, to this line here. So what that means is that this equation here, 4x minus y equals 3, if this, if this equation is perpendicular to the tangent line, therefore the slope here, the slope of this equation, has to be the slope of the normal line. And we're going to find out what that is by solving for y. So we have 4x minus y is equal to 3. And we're going to solve for y by, uh, we can add y to both sides of this equation. So we have 4x equals 3 plus y, and then subtract 3. So we have y equals 4x minus 3. So m sub m is equal to 4. And since m sub n is equal to 4, m sub t is going to be a negative reciprocal of 4, which is going to be negative 1 4. Well, uh, m sub t is 1 4. We're going to now take the derivative of y equals 1 over x. Before doing that, we're going to rewrite y equals 1 over x as y equals x to the negative 1 power. Now y prime we find by taking negative 1 times x to the negative 1 minus 1 power, so x to the negative 2 power. Therefore, y prime is equal to negative 1 over x squared. And next, we're going to find the point where the tangent line is perpendicular. So we're going to substitute m sub t in for y prime right here. So to do that, we're going to have negative 1 fourth equals negative 1 over x squared. And if we just uh, flip the equations upside down, we have 4 over negative 1 equals x squared over negative 1. And multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 1, we have x squared equals 4. So therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 2. OK. We're getting closer here. We don't have the points yet, but we have two x coordinates. So our points are going to be, first of all, if we plug in x value 2, well, y equals 1 over x. So that would mean our y value would be 1 half. And then if we have a uh, x value of negative 2, our y value would be negative one half. So these are the two points. Where the tangent line is perpendicular to this equation here, 4x minus y equals 3. So I hope these hope these 
problems have helped you somewhat. And I thank you for viewing.